uh, gathering him in number 49, unless a grain of wheat. Unless a grain of wheat shall fall upon the ground and die, it remains but a single grain with no life. If we have died with him, then we shall live with him. If we hold for him, we shall reign with him. Unless a grain of wheat shall fall upon the ground and die, it remains but a single grain with no light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. But in French, today is the memorial of St. Vincent de Paul, patron also of our diocese, as we together also move on with our novena to St. Jerome, our patron. We offer this holy sacrifice at the Mass that we may continue to become mindful of God's gift to all of us as a parish community. And so, so that we may be worthy to celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation to your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy, endow the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant we pray that a fire with that same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. This word of the Lord of hosts came. Thus says the Lord of hosts, I am intensely jealous for Zion, steer to jealous wrath for her. Thus says the Lord, I will return to Zion, and I will dwell within Jerusalem. Jerusalem shall be called the faithful city, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus says the Lord of the hosts, old man and old woman, each with staff in hand because of old age, shall again sit in the streets of Jerusalem. The city shall be filled with boys and girls playing in the streets. Thus says the Lord of the hosts, even if this should seem impossible in the eyes of the remnant of his people, shall it in those days be impossible in my eyes also, says the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Law, I will rescue my people from the land of the rising sun and from the land of the setting sun. I will bring them back to dwell within Jerusalem. They shall be my people and I will be their God with faithfulness and justice, the Lord of the word. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The Lord will resign. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, 
when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. The Lord, the Lord will build the Zion again and appear in his glory. Let this be written for generations to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven be, be, he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. The children of your servants shall abide, and their posterity shall continue in your presence, that the name of the Lord may be declared in Zion, and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples gather together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. An argument among his disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized that the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by the side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. For the one who is great least among all of you is the one who is the greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow in our company. Jesus said to him, Do not prevent him, for whoever is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, today as we move along with our Novena Mass, usually we don't have Mass on this Monday, but to fulfill and to complete our Novena, we are celebrating this Holy Eucharist. And thus for us to become mindful of these nine days of which we celebrate consecutively a Mass in preparation for the feast day of our patron, it also reminds us about our own way of offering our own very selves. I know it is a very Catholic tradition or practice in our own liturgies that we have novena in our own acts of piety, personal prayers. We do pray also the novena. This is our consistency of which we become mindful of what is the most important thing that we are looking forward to. Though our celebration will be very simple on the ninth day, the feast day of our patron, reminding us again about our own reflection and discernment that we pray and consider St. Jerome as our patron that would truly guide us in our journey towards a life of holiness. Today, we celebrate St. Vincent de Paul, patron saint too of our diocese. St. Vincent de Paul, as we always know of his life of acts of charity, of which he would always consider as the most powerful way for sanctification and to get away with all forms of the temptation of the evil one is to become humble. And humility, according to St. Vincent de Paul, would only achieve if we will be able to do the most humbling of all the good works in the world. And so, my dear friends, today in our Mass, 
we continually pray for this two patron saints that we have, that they could gather pray in our own sanctification, and we would also emulate their good works to strengthen us in our faith. In a world where there is so much competition to be ahead of others, let us seek greatness in the eyes of God to our humble and loving service of our brothers and sisters. With confidence, we all together pray. May the people of God and it's oh the our responsorial uh, response is Lord hear our prayer. May the people of God and its leaders shun the temptation of earthly honor, power, and glory, and serve God and people with humility and love. We pray. Lord, hear my May I, our government officials reject corruption and injustice and govern the, with humility and competence competence we pray Lord, hear our prayer. may we see the face of Christ in the faces of simple and ordinary people in the poor and the needy and serve Christ in them Lord, hear our may we have the heart of a child trustful loving simple and joyful we pray Lord, hear our prayer. may we acknowledge and appreciate goodness gifts and strength wherever these may be found, even if these are found in people, not in our company, for the Spirit blows where it wills, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, in the world where rulers... Is this yours? Okay. And we pray for the special intentions of Token You. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And also we pray for all the faithful of St. Jerome. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and loving God, in the world where rulers and kings lord it over people, may we learn from the humble obedience of your Son, that we may share his glory with the angels and saints in heaven. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 532. 532, look beyond. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. Give us a sign that we might believe in you. Moses brought us manna from the sky. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. I am the bread which from the heavens came. Those who eat this bread will never die. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond 
from the cup you drink. See his love poured out as one. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection unto you come, unto you come again. Have mercy on soul, we pray. 
the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph Christ, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be your heirs to eternal life. We pray and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, O God, your Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As Savior is commanded for the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that we have the help of your mercy, we may be always with you. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, we say, give you my peace, that give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant your peace, and in the in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us hope for each other. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis facham.
pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacramental Lord, we implore that just as one are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so that we may be sustained by his prayers. To Christ our Lord. Amen. We now pray our novena. Novena Day 6 Today is the sixth day of our novena to our patron saint, St. Jerome. St. Jerome taught followers to, of Christ to try to live an as, ascetic lifestyle, devoid of the hedonistic lifestyle often adopted by those in Rome. Functioning as the Pope's secretary, he angered many in his condemnation on, of conspicuous consumption. However, St. Jerome was not a man of only words. The lifestyle he suggested to others was the very lifestyle he chose to live. Even going so far as to live alone in a cave towards the end of his life. Our response, St. Jerome, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for giving us St. Jerome as an example of holiness. Help us to imitate the devotion to you he showed through his many years of penitential living. We pray. St. Jerome, pray for us. St. Jerome, you spent many years living penitentially as a hermit, even when you were presented with the opportunity to become a priest. You were eager to continue serving God in penitential way of life as a hermit. We pray. Saint Jerome, pray for us. You preached about the need of asceticism during your time serving as a Pope secretary. You helped lead many others closer to God by preaching about the need for penance in their lives. We pray. Saint Jerome, pray for us. Pray for us that we may always be eager to learn more about God. Pray that we may be ready to devote ourselves to him anew each day. We pray. Saint Jerome, pray for us. Please pray that Jesus, in his love, give us the courage that we lack to approach the sacrament of reconciliation. We pray. Saint Jerome, pray for us. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A holy mass has been offered. Let us now go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 408. 408. Your words are spirit and life. Your words are spirit and life, O oh Lord, richer than gold, stronger than death. Your words are spirit and life, O oh Lord, life everlasting. God's law is perfect, refreshing the soul, reviving the weary spirit. God's rule can be trusted, bringing us wisdom, bringing God's wisdom to birth. Your words are spirit and life, O oh Lord, richer than gold, stronger than death. Your words are spirit and life, O oh Lord, life everlasting.